here today with Kathy, and we're going to be doing a new test on her. It's called the Heart Sound Recorder. This is the unit here, and this is what we're doing is actually listening to the sounds of her heart. Um, by seeing that on a graph, we're able to determine what kind of nutritional deficiency she may have. Uh, we're going to give her some supplementation, and we're going to see if there's an actual change in a graph. So I'm just going to show you right now just how the test works. Um, and hopefully we can show you a couple of graphs on this to, to see what the changes might be. And um, so we're going to go ahead and start on that. Okay, you ready? I am. All right, good. So it's very simple. All you have to do is just basically sit there. So the first thing we've got to do is actually get a heartbeat. So we're going to kind of shift that around a little bit until we actually get one. There we go. Good. All right. So just stay nice and still. I'm going to record this. So the first part of the test we're actually taking is uh, the mitral valve, and we're going to test all four valves of the heart. And that was easy enough, huh? So the next part is going to be a tricuspid, so we're going to just move that over just a little bit. Let's see if we've got a good beat here. That looks good, so we're going to record that. Well, at least we know you're alive, so that's good. So all we're doing right now is we're just taking the test itself, and we're going to actually move this up a little. So I'm going to hook this from your back. Good. And I'm going to actually put this around both shoulders. There you go. Should be relatively tight. I'll loosen it up a little bit, and get it down a little further. So this is what patients go through. It's a very simple test, and this is a little bit different than any other test you're going to have. This isn't the same as the same with the stethoscope. The device that we're using is actually called an accelerometer. So what it does is it actually shows how the heart is actually moving in the chest wall itself. So it's a little bit different than listening to it that way. I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit. So right now we're doing the aortic valve. I'm going to record that. That looks good so far. Good, and the last one we're going to do is a pulmonic. And I'm probably going to do a few more videos of this to show you how it works and how the heart works, etc. So you guys get a better idea of what we're actually doing here and what we're looking at when we're looking at the graphs. Okay, I'm just going to record this one. Pretty good. So we're getting all four valves of the heart. And there it is. Okay, so that's it. That's basically how the testing goes.